But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? L laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. The question of whether Peko's stomach was a coincidence or if someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. Uh, yes, absolutely. That's a big question. Assuming we're going to talk about the party dishes, so let me get that on on standby. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Taro Taro cooked the food. How suspicious! I wouldn't do anything like that. Laxatives would ruin the taste. Crap! Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Taro Taro cooked the food. How suspicious! I wouldn't do anything like that. Laxatives would ruin the taste. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? No, that's wrong! No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some- If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Dang! <laughs> Cease this bickering. Let's just dismiss Peko's stomachache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank? As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself was actually important. So we need to make it clear how the blackout occurred. Back to non-stop debating? Or, yeah, that that's what it is. Okay. The irons... <clears throat> Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Did they throw a stone and hit it? No. Maybe they used a remote control? Kind of. They probably messed with the breaker. Oh, shoot. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Or maybe they caused a power surge? Oh, there, 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 there. Perfect, 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 perfect. It's just as Mahiro said. The blackout was Mahiro! Mahiro. That's how you pronounce your name. Mahiro. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on. So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Ah! Uh, don't argue with me. Hold on a second. You're the brawn, I'm time. the brain. Get it, understand it. Leave it to that. What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! Your actions are inexcusable, sir. Ah! 
Ah, there's so many things. Ah, it's probably the AC timer. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? And that means everyone who was in the duck when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining halls doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blood. If the irons caused, then the killer had to go to the storage room before that. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn it! The irons in the storage room caused the black. Oh, they fully healed you after that. Turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone who was in the when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the if the irons caused the blackout. Then the killer had to go to the storage room before that and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? However, you cannot normally cut remarks that contain weak spots. Oh, I'm doing it again. The dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the blackout. That's, I'm doing it again. Okay. Crap. <laughs> I just thought that I was doing it again. In the dining hall I had it right, but I'm doing the, the way this the thing. The irons caused the blackout. Allow me to cut through those words. I keep forgetting that the Y button exists on this. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred. The I had it. Trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? <laughs> Mr. Ham Ham's died around that time, too! I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners... I see. I understand. Indubitably. Indubitably? They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cut. Indubitably? Miss Sonia, not you too. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Dun dun dun! Is she right? Such a hateful fear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! A thousand, you say? If I die that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I still regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. No, the breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's all right. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. That felt forced. Mr. Pessimist is that's not what oh Nagito? What happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. Uh. Now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? 
Unfortunately, it's the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. You, you're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Uh, I know. Oh. Doesn't that mean? Are you saying we should all just give up and die? Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. That's exactly what we got to do. This anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I, I don't want to do this either. <laughs> me too. Please take me home already. <laughs> I want to go home and eat candy. Stop it. If everyone acts like this, I, I'm going to... Everyone calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. I think. Did you say something? Because we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. A clue, you say? You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. Then care to tell me, what's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean before that. Before? Is she asking about how the killer got to close to that table? Even if they had to obtain the, had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow of the paint in order to do that, they needed to get close to that table while it was still in the dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Nagita was the closest. I feel like bad, but I also wouldn't mind if Nagito is the one that committed the murder. Just as a thought, this diagram is the clue to who the killer is and how they might be able to move them to the table in the dark. That is clearly shown in this diagram. First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to the table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. Spot selection. This. The duct tape was stuck under the table, right? But you're saying the killer used it to move in the dark? That doesn't make any sense. I guess that's not how the killer moved in the dark. The lamp, maybe. Oh, the cord! The cord! Feeling for the cord! To move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp. I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Of course. The power cord. I can prove it with this. They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Power cord? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table and use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. You're the only one! 
Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? M me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito! <laughs> That's just a coincidence! But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? Nagito's chance to hide the knife under the table was... When he was cleaning. I see. Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously? That's all just a coincidence. If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another, I wonder... Is something like that even possible? Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. He did. I thought it was super suspicious when they did that too. And then they pointed, they did the whole like, lucky student, blah, blah, blah. I even pointed that out. I was like, oh, that's a weird quiz. Like, not like a weird thing to have happen, blah, 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 blah. You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? <laughs> Just admit it already! I feel like we're gonna have a rebuttal. I don't think it's gonna actually be him. I feel like we're, there's definitely gonna be a rebuttal going on, but. Don't tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't wanna believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. <laughs> Nagito, say something. No shot. <laughs> the ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Uh, how wonderful. How beautiful it is. Huh? those eyes. At the moment, Nagito's eyes. The darkness in his eyes shone brightly as if a layer upon layers of darkness were folding onto each other. I didn't believe you from the get. You were, like, wishy-washy the entire time. As if hope and despair had crudely mixed together. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. And of course, I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone. Right. Uh, is it just me, or... Does he seem a little nuts right now? But I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. But with a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Byakuya performed admirably. Just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? Don't tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Me? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could have lied to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that I ultimately worthless. 
too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. Too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! <laughs> Ibuki. He seems like the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. That's we had one this year. You have there, but like, now's not really the time to bring it up. This guy is he? Is he the real hey, Nagito? Nagito? If you were behind all of this, then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think, somewhere deep in my heart, I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Yakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. Then how about an old looking building near the hotel? Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. In doing so, <clears throat> Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Well, it's not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. And I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it'd be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard... Why don't you guard the case in the office? Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, it was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep. That's true, too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. Nagito's talent. I believe his talent was the ultimate lucky student. I see. You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks. But I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Huh? I'm left with the red mark. For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem to be lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky. But it was actually the opposite. Yeah, well, and that's kind of... I, I even said that too. I'm like, ha, they're playing the Makoto card. And that's exactly what they did. They played the Makoto card. Ugh! why I got picked for cleaning duty. Just like I want. Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? The despairing brings. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine. Let's start the damn boat already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. Please! Monokuma! Please! Wait! Huh? The fuck? Um, um, I called it! Is I knew that they were gonna sidebar. I'm sorry, but like, they had to sidebar this. Saying he's already confessed, hasn't he? I, I already know that, but uh, there's just something a little strange. 
If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. Makes no. Me like we have to let Mikan talk here. Mikan knows something's wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? Yes, Sonia. No, we don't. Simply listening is acceptable. <laughs> Nearly acceptable, yes. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. Oh, geez, we're already getting white noise? Okay, that was like earlier than I expected. Think of them as obstacles. Press the A button. Even though meaning this allowed me to say. You won't be able to shoot down white noise. That I'll explain later. Okay. I mean, I know how to do it. So, sadly, I, it's unfortunate <laughs> that I can't. I totally went to go shoot it. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. Mikan, speak up! Girl, I want to agree with you. No! Thanks for wasting our time! Then let's prepare to cast our votes. Okay. I think the killer is so obvious. He has already confessed. You know? That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Biakio with a knife. Yeah. No, okay. that's wrong. That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikon? What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But based on the entry wounds on Biakio's body, the actual weapon should be roughly. Five millimeters in diameter. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife. Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse. <laughs> not a whorehouse. Hey, why are you threatening her? Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. I knew you were wishy-washy. Mm. You were yeah. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. No. Hey, don't blame me. Mikon's the one who said it. I'm sorry. But Mikon's probably right. She's the nurse. We're everybody's giving her so much shoot for no reason. Hey Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like during the blackout. Did something happen between you and Yakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off. What happened during the blackout? Hmm. Ugh! If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision. What does that have to do with anything? Don't get distracted. Our lives are at stake, you know? Huh? Whose life is at stake? Seriously, how long is it going to take for you to understand the damn rule? Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? The truth is beyond our sight. No, that can't be it. There should be some way to find out what happened in the dark. That's not right. Okay. <laughs> I tried to overthink that. Okay. Crap. 
No. Ah. I need to think about it a little more, I think. Okay. No. Ah. Can the goggles, like, record? No. I can prove it with this. Oh. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard. It. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, real? Don't act so surprised. Me, remember how everyone was shouting during the blackout? Uh, everyone, calm down. We gotta stay calm in a situation like this. Ah, don't step on my feet. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is. Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I... You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. Dang! <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark... What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! It almost sounds like... Yakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. So Byakuya stopped him when he was trying to get the knife, and he got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it. Well, that sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what both said at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! I couldn't interpret it like that. No, actually... Now that I think about it, it sounds like exactly what had happened. Shoved out from under the table. I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint. I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and Byakuya's body was lying under the table. H hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout all going according to plan but unfortunately my plan failed and all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles what happened after that even I don't know you failed Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya then we're right back to square one how can that be we spent all this time talking back and forth meaninglessness what other word is brimming with so much despair but you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Is Nagito really not the killer? Is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? No, there's no way I can say that. Just as I knew him, but the whole this whole time I didn't know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's simple as that. But now's not the time for me to dwell on that. I need to go find Byakuya's killer by any means possible, because if we don't, we... We will die here. Well now. Okay, well, it looks like we had an intermission. So, we'll stop it there. This is like a... This is... I can see how the trials are going to be like four parts. Oh my god. Um, although I did make... <laughs> Uh, a list of f-ups on how this actually works so uh, i'm definitely gonna get uh literally killed in the comments and in person here but thank you guys so much for watching uh we'll get carry on to in the next episode and we'll see you guys then bye